Whoa, what a strange artifact. Hi there, it's Adam with Olympic Health Physics, and today we're gonna to be talking about artifact evaluation in our mammography QC series. Welcome to our second video in our mammography quality control series. Today we're gonna to be talking about artifact evaluation. Now, the artifact evaluation is done to ensure that any undesirable artifacts are free from our image so that we can visualize suspicious anatomy in the mammogram. Now, in order to perform the quality control task of artifact evaluation, we want to first, ideally, perform this after our detector flat field calibration or gain calibration. We'll want to navigate to Admin Quality Control Technologist tab and select Artifact Evaluation. You'll want to set up the flat field phantom as seen on screen. Ensure that the phantom covers the entire field of view or covers all of the white lines on the breast support. Move the compression arm to between 5 and 7 centimeters as pictured or the same position as the gain calibration. Now you should be ready to acquire some images. We'll then select the first flat field conventional field view and ensure that the on-screen techniques are set. After we acquire the exposure, we'll select the actual pixels tab. This looks like the breast overlay on a box. And deselect the information mask series, just to make it easy. We'll then pan through the entire image and look for artifacts that pop out at us, such as bad pixels and other sharp lines or demarcations. We'll want to note any technical factors or artifacts present on our QC records. We'll then select the next flat field conventional tab and ensure that these techniques are set. We'll then acquire and review that image in the same way as the previous one. Now please note, before this second flat field conventional acquisition, we'll want to rotate the flat field phantom 180 degrees. This is done to ensure that any artifacts in the phantom are not thought to be attributed to the detector. We'll then navigate to our third tab, which will the be the flat field TOMO tab, and ensure that these parameters are set. Once the acquisition is complete, we'll select the projections button and scroll through all 15 projections, ensuring that we don't see any collimator interference. We'll finish and settle on the zero degree projection and score this one for phantoms in the same way as the previous two. If you have contrast enhanced digital mammography capability, You'll then select that image task and ensure that these parameters are set for your artifact evaluation. If the dual energy subtracted view is displayed, you want to select the contrast tab. This looks like the breast pictograph to display the copper filter and then evaluate that image for any artifacts. Now remember, for our artifact evaluation, the preset window, level, window width is 500 and we'll leave it there. Please note that if any artifacts are visible, rotate the flat field phantom 180 degrees and reacquire that view. If the artifact moves, we can attribute that to the, that artifact to the flat field phantom, and we'll want to make note of this so that we can obtain a new flat field phantom, as the flat field phantom, if you remember from our previous video, is used to create a uniform response of the digital detector through the gain calibration. If any sharp lines or demarcations are seen, it's a good idea to redo the gain calibration and check again for artifacts. If any artifacts are attributed to the digital detector or the x-ray tube, your field service engineer should be contacted and corrective ta action taken within 30 days of this finding. If any artifacts cannot be eliminated, you should contact your medical physicist that's me, here at Olympic Health Physics. Or, if the artifacts cannot be eliminated, the medical physicist should consult with the lead interpreting radiologist for assistance in evaluation, whether any remaining artifacts may interfere with image interpretation or may be tolerable. Major takeaways. We want to ensure that the image is free of any undesirable artifacts that mimic or obscure clinical information. This is done through the artifact evaluation task. Please note that corrective action must be taken within 30 days of the finding if the artifacts cannot be removed. And when in doubt, contact your medical physicist. Thank you for tuning in to learn about or get a refresher on artifact evaluation for mammography systems. Remember to smash the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.